Greetings to everyone, Stupid here, and we are taking a first look at Dirt Rally. Uh, purchased this yesterday from Steam, uh, part of the Early Access program, uh, which I really, really like. The fact that they're taking the time to listen to what gamers like and what they would like to see within the game. So I'm really glad they're taking this approach, and I'm really, really glad that they're kind of going back to a simulation style racing uh, versus the arcade uh, that has been prevalent over the last couple of uh, iterations. We're going to take a look at the track. Uh, now I'll just discard that. We'll do a rally. Uh, go to Greece. Mm, sunset clear. Why not? Uh, let's do a shorter, let's do a sprint. And there's a livery I like. We'll do the mini. So far, uh, even though this game is still in development so far, I really like uh, what they've come up with. And I also like the fact that the load screen is pretty short. Okay, so we're all set, and we're going to start the stage. And here I am. All right. Countdown. And we're off. Now normally within the game you do have the co-driver with the base notes, uh, but I tried to do a video earlier and you couldn't hear me over top of the guy, so I just told him, look dude, shut up. <laughs> um, like I said, this is based more upon a uh, simulation style, and I really, really have enjoyed it. I really enjoy uh, the way that especially racing games have really been benefited, benefiting from the, uh, the current gen graphics. There's, there's so much nicer. And this game is a challenge. And hey, look, I went the wrong way. Gee, let's uh, let's reset my vehicle here. I'm doing really well. I really am good at rock racing. Really, really, I am. Um, and upon playing this, one thing that uh, reminds me of is Richard Burns Rally. For any of you hardcore rally gamers out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Came out in the early 2000s. Uh, was extremely well the first time. In fact, I still play it to this day on an older computer. And, uh, but it was brutal. Uh, playing this game with, this <laughs> with the setup it has now very much reminds me of that. And, uh, this setting we're running on a clear day in the evening time. Uh, one thing about this especially over Dirt 3. Dirt 3, you could actually manually set the time of day and the weather conditions. Unfortunately, this one, you can hit the X button and randomize it. You know, it'll take you through all the different things, uh, but you have to do it that way. You can't set them manually, which is something I, I might uh, perhaps put in comments. Maybe they can make that so you can manually do it. This is a cockpit view. We'll cycle through some of the different views. Of course, we have Chase. We have the car Chase. Present bumper view, hood view, of course. Get around this corner. Ah, come on, you can do it. And a nice addition, I like this, is the dashboard view, looking as if you're sitting in front of the steering wheel, which is really nice if you're using a wheel and you still want to have that kind of that in-car uh, feel to it. It almost kind of draws you into the game because you're wheel that you have mounted on your desk or whatever actually becomes the uh, part of the interior of the car, which I think is really, really nice. Speaking of which, I've also heard that they are working on development uh, for the Oculus Rift for this with the extremes. Of course, my favorite view right now is this. You can look around. Inside. Really a challenge. <laughs> and this one is, this game is brutal. That's okay. The only other thing that I noticed uh, in comparison to Dirt 3, uh, which I am comparing a lot because I still play that game regularly, uh, on your hood view, if you're driving in weather conditions, you get the effect on your screen, you know, the rain or the snow. It doesn't seem to be quite so prevalent in this particular version. Uh, however, like I said, seeing it's still early access, that might be a feature that comes along later on. I really 
like to feel this because it really feels like you're driving down a little wooded area somewhere. Oh, here we go. Ah, I cracked my, I cracked my windshield. I cracked my door. Uh, window. And I've always said if I'm playing a rally game and I haven't cracked a windshield somewhere, I'm just not doing it right. So <laughs> I must be doing it right. We're almost to the end here. Oh, boy, I took that too fast. Nice feature with the Y button to recover your vehicle when you just completely mess up like I have done several times. Here. We are nearing the end. You also have your visual cues uh, for your pace notes, which is fine. And as I stated earlier, uh, there are also the audio cues of the driver reading the pace notes to you. I just have them turned off for this particular video. And I completed it! Yeah! Let's see what I get. I've yet to come in first place. First time I played it, I got 14th. Ah, 7th. Alright, well, it's better. It's better than 14th. A uh, little quick look at the replay. I have always enjoyed racing games that have a replay. So you can actually watch your cool vehicle in the area that you're in. And, and especially me, I can watch up and see myself crash and mess up and do all kinds of wonderful things to my car. Uh, hopefully I can look at it and say, gee, I won't do that anymore. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is Stu Pitt signing off uh, with a quick look and first impression of Dirt Rally. Very nice game. I am extremely excited with the direction that this game is going. So kudos to Codemasters. Good job. Uh, not so good job there, especially hitting an ambulance. Not so cool. But anyways, Stu Pitt saying thank you very much. Um, hit that little like button if you wouldn't mind. If you have any ideas or any comments, uh, please post them. Ideas of what you'd like to see, let me know. See what I can do. So until next time, subscribe. Stupid. Stay up.